This antenna factory is run by Anton Katrein. He's been in charge of the family business for decades. His company has some 6,800 employees worldwide, and Katrein has clear-cut views when it comes to money. Our family knows you can only spend money you have. Spend any more and you go broke. Katrein is sceptical about the Greek bailout. But not everyone agrees with him. Mikhail Heise is chief economist at Allianz, an insurance giant with a staff of 150,000. He reckons it's dangerous not to help Greece. The crisis would fall back on the banking systems in European countries. That's why the right thing is helping Greece, but under strict conditions. Eurozone nations have provided their debt-burdened neighbour with up to 700 billion euros in bailout aid. Germany alone has contributed about 190 billion. Katrine says that wasn't what EU member states signed up for. No country should bankroll another with tax money, and that's what we're doing. So far, Greece has been provided with guarantees only, but no taxpayer money has been paid indirectly. We have to make sure that the loans given to Greece are repaid. At 50 billion euros, the European Central Bank is the biggest holder of Greek debt. If the ECB doesn't get its money back, European taxpayers stand to shoulder the burden. A cancellation of Greek debt would mean that taxpayers have to foot the bill for those loans and guarantees. The largest holder of Greek state bonds in Germany is FMS, Hypo Real Estate's bad bank. FMS holds 7.4 billion euros worth in Greek bonds, but Allianz also has a stake of 1.3 billion. If I were CEO of Allianz and had 1.3 billion euros on the line, I'd react in a similar way. But the question is why he took on those bonds in the first place. That's problematic too. Now Allianz has announced it is willing to roll over some 300 million euros in Greek government bonds. As soon as economic growth picks up again, repaying the debt will be easier. It's either a haircut or bankruptcy. There's no way around it. A disastrous end is better than an endless disaster. When it comes to providing more money for Greece, opinions remain divided among Germany's business sector.